Here's my stock uh, Sony Xperia X8. It was just factory restored. And you can factory restore it in Android 2.1 by going to settings and then privacy. And you can go in factory data reset. But I, that's already been done. So I'm going to go through the process of installing Ginger DX onto this phone. Uh, first starts with rooting the phone. I'm going to use Super One Click to root the phone. Uh, before that, on your computer, don't forget to disable your antivirus. I use a virus, so on the bottom right over here, my Windows 7 machine. Right click and disable real time protection. I uh, disable it. First, shut off your antivirus because when you run Super One Click, it'll be detected as a threat. So go ahead and plug your your what do you call it? Your USB connection into there. We're having some technical difficulties. It's plugged in. Uh, you may need to install Sony PC Companion uh, if the drivers don't install properly automatically on Windows 7. I already installed it and then removed it so that the drivers would be there. So download Super One Click from Short Fuse. I've already downloaded and extracted it. Double click onto there and you just have to run the super one click exe file. So run that. It'll ask you if you want to run it. Just hold on and click run. And then it goes to a donation page. I'll just say donate later. And at the far left is a root button. That's all we need to do. Go and click root. And then it's going to go about the process of rooting the phone. It takes a minute or so. It's very quick and easy. Uh, you might have to go to your phone and screen unlock it. Possibly, oh, but it's still trying to run. Well, usually, it doesn't take this long, so usual. With my luck, things don't work. trying to start at ADB but now it's just like stuck or something. Uh, now it's not even responding. So I don't want to do anything I shouldn't but it's not running, so I'm going to try it, closing the program, trying this again, it runs for one click again, let's try clicking the root button, Seems to be having issues. It shouldn't take this long, so what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try rebooting my computer. And then let's start this process all over again. So here I have my Sony Ericsson Xperia X8 hooked up. And I was trying to run Super One Click over here on my PC. Switch that over. And the problem with it was, let me see, clear that one. 
problem was when I would run it, click donate later, and here's the root button over here. It would start killing ADB server, start ADB server, and it just gets stuck over there. So if you run into this problem where it's just stuck over here, it's probably because you didn't turn on USB debugging mode. So I made that mistake, and so I'll go ahead and close this. And then go down here, back to my phone. So remember to turn on USB debugging. Let's go to cancel that. Go into settings. Applications and under development, you can turn on USB debugging. So turn that on, click OK. Now I'm ready to use Super One Click to root my phone. Uh, cancel that. And then also, I'm going to enable allow installation of non market applications, which I'll need for later. Okie dokie. So now I'm ready to go to root the phone. After I root the phone with super one click, it should uh, say don't it later. It should after I root it, it should install super user onto my PC. So as you can see it's all working now. It only takes a minute or two. And as I mentioned before, if you don't disable your antivirus, it'll mess things up. And hopefully, I'm going to disable it now. Hopefully, it didn't mess up everything. super one click so remember before you start running super one click to disable your antivirus and so let's do this over again do it later and I'll just go ahead and root the device So now it goes ahead and runs through everything. Next step is it's asking me would I like to install BusyBox? Yes. And then it says would you like to run a test? I say yes. Okay. Let it run. Should run soon. If I look on the phone itself, press back here. I go to applications. I move to the very right. I should see super user now. So it should be rooted. And if I look, go back on here, it says your device has been rooted. Would you like to donate now? So that's how easy it is to install Super One Click. It just takes a few minutes, and I ran into all these small problems, like I forgot to enable debugging mode, and I forgot to uh, disable my antivirus. So those are the kind of problems you run into if you don't do that. Here's my Sony Ericsson uh, Xperia X8, and I just rooted it, and the next step in installing uh, custom ROM is I'll need to uh, install a recovery onto this and the most popular recovery I think is X recovery for the Xperia X8 so download uh, X recovery uh, 0 0.1 sorry it's blurry on this camera X recovery 0 0.1 
and then uh, you also need Root Explorer APK so you can navigate through your phone. Obviously you need root access for that. So uh, before we can start we will need to copy these two files to the root of the to, to the SD card on the phone. So go over here, log on and slide down and click on the USB connected and just mount and now on your PC you should have an option to look at the folders so what I'll first do is I'll copy I already have root explorer here because I wanted it to be quick and fast but copy root explorer to the root folder of your SD card and then you should copy I'm going to extract this over here uh, this just consists of root explorer 0.1 just consists of three files it's busybox chargemon and xrecovery.tar so they suggest you create a folder in your SD card called xrecovery and then take those three files over here select them and copy them to your SD cards new folder called X recovery so I just drag this into there and I'm copying it there so now you have those three files okie dokie so I'm ready to start I can now go back to the phone and so I need to get access to the root explorer APK so I need some kind of file explorer program I'm going to turn off USB storage because I don't need that anymore. And go into the marketplace to install some kind of file explorer program. So I just go type file explorer. So you're going to use a uh, root explorer to copy over those three files. Um, and I tried using Astro File Manager, but that force closes on me. So instead, I just use Simple File Manager. Install that. So the next step over here is to install some kind of file manager so we can manually install root explorer apk should be quick so we don't need the phone attached anymore i'm gonna detach it everything else i can do pretty well Okay, now that it's installed, since it's installed, go into File Manager. And so this is probably, I need to go to the SD card. If it's not already in the SD card, look on the top left, it's already in SD card. So I just need to scroll to the very bottom and go to Root Explorer and run that. I'm going to install Root Explorer. After I install Root Explorer, I want to run it. Open. Okay. Oh, strange. Well, should have installed root explorer so it should be over in the very end so I'm just going to use root explorer here okay 
to something wrong with super user. Mm, great. I'm gonna restart the phone and see if it fixes the problem. Okay, so now after rebooting the phone, I clicked on file manager root explorer and now it's working right it's asking for my uh, root access so I'll allow that now I closed by accident but it should work now now that I allow okay so everything's working now I need to go into my SD card which I don't see, I think it's under SD card. So go into SD card, that's the external SD card, and go into where I copied those three files I, for X recovery, X recovery over here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy each one over to the system slash bin folder. So first I start with BusyBox. Press and hold that copy and then press back back and which will take us to the main root folder of our phone then go to system and then bin over here okay now when I get over there I want to paste it but the very first thing I want to do is right now it's r slash o I want to mount as RW. So click on there. Now it says RW over here, which is fine. Um, hopefully, I didn't get out of the folder. So this should be system bin. In the, at the very bottom, just paste. So I finished copying over one of the files. There's two more files. Press back, back, and we need to go back to our SD card back to X recovery folder and there's two more files the charge monitor charge mon copy that back go back to system and bin system bin and it's still at RW so I don't have to press that button anymore uh, so paste And then I go down to go back back and again go to SD card X recovery and then the last file is the X recovery tar file copy it go back back go to your system folder bin and then again make sure it's on RW over here if it's not click the mount button and then paste okie and dokie now if everything worked fine now when I restart the phone I can get into recovery so I just installed X Recovery. Now I'm gonna see if I can uh, boot it into recovery mode. So you just press power button, and then as soon as you see Sony Ericsson logo, press back, 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 back until you get into recovery. So hopefully installed properly. So now I'm pressing back, back, back. And as you can see, I'm in X Recovery now. So I'm ready to install a custom ROM. Um, I'm going to go ahead and copy over the ROM file onto the external SD card right now. So here's my Xperia X8. I've rooted and installed X Recovery. Last up now is copying the custom ROM file onto the SD card. So now I want to connect the phone. Uh, 
uh, because I want to copy the ROM file onto the SD card. Uh, let me see. So open it, and what I do is I just take the ROM file over here. This is GingerDX, and I'm just going to drag it into the SD card over here and have it copy over just takes a few seconds according to the install installation instructions all I have to do is boot into recovery and do a custom install which I'll show you once this finishes So finish copying, I can close this, I can disconnect the phone, I can go ahead and power off, and now I'm going to restart into recovery, again I copied the custom ROM into the external drive external SD card drive in its root folder so it should be there it's called gingerdx something.zip so again to get into recovery press back once Sony Ericsson sign comes up okay the, so now I'm ready to work in recovery the volume up volume down buttons over here uh, let me slide to select back button does what it does it go back to the previous menu and your home button over here I think is the selection button so I want to scroll down to install custom zip press that and then next step is to choose a custom zip from SD card and then it loads up to my SD card and at the very bottom is the custom ROM I downloaded and copy it over to the phone. So I'm gonna go ahead, press the home button to uh, select that file, and then it'll again ask for verification and just click down on the volume button and click home, and it'll start installing. According to the instructions, that's it said just to do that. Um, takes a minute or two to finish, but you may still need to clear out the cache or format the system. I know when I just did this and rebooted my phone, I think it got stuck in the boot screen. So we're going to see in a second. It's almost done and said install from SD card complete. So as I was mentioning before, if you click back, I just click back right now. There are some options here that you could do. You can wipe cache partition, which might be necessary, or you could factory reset. Uh, but I'm just going to go ahead and reboot the phone. Hopefully it works. And if it doesn't, I'll just have to go back into X Recovery and try wiping the cache. And that'll probably fix the problem. First boot up takes a while, so it says Ginger DX, so that's promising. It's not bricked or anything.
So this actually took me a lot longer than I expected. I ran into common problems that most people would run into when trying to root. I forgot to disable my antivirus. Also, I forgot to enable USB debugging mode on my phone. And then when I was running, um, trying to install X Recovery, uh, after I installed Root Explorer, it, it wouldn't work because for some reason super user access wasn't working right. I had to reboot my phone. But then after that, it seemed to be working okay. There it is, trying to boot up. Hopefully it boots up eventually. It looks like it's having some trouble booting up. So I'm gonna go ahead and wait to see what happens. It looks like it's stuck now. As I mentioned, it's important, well not important, but it looks like it's stuck right now, so I think I need to reboot into recovery and use one of those options to clear the cache. Let me give that a try. So one of the things about upgrading to Ginger DX, it actually changes uh, the recovery to clockwork mod but that's fine uh, I can still just go down and the two things I wanted to run were I wanted to uh, wipe data factory reset scroll down click yes So that's Dan. I wanted just to wipe the cache, wipe data cache, wipe cache, part cache partition, and then run that. And then even you could go to advanced and wipe Dalva cache. And then now that that's all done, I go back to the main menu and just reboot the system. Hopefully that fixes the problem. So again, here's Ginger DX. kind of slow it's a, actually you know, usually slow the first time you're booting up so before it just froze on this screen and I wait a few minutes but didn't go past so I guess the instructions that I read on the website were slightly off I still needed to Go into uh, custom, I mean, clockwork mod recovery and clear cache and format the system. It seems to be running a lot better now. I'm not sure. It's looking at the custom update file, it seems like it should have ran fine. It's, as you can see, here's Ginger DX. Loading for the first time. This actually runs really smooth. 